Hey everybody, it's Ryan Kister, and this is how farms work. What we're going to be doing today is I'm going to teach you guys how to use the Intelligent Total Equipment Control, also known as iTech, in John Deere tractors. Now, this is John Deere 8235R. If you guys go back and see some of my older videos, you'll know that I've gone over how to use the Green Star Monitor, how to operate the tractor itself, and likewise. So, today we're going to be using the iTech. Now, the iTech is a set of automations that the operator can set the tractor to perform to reduce operator fatigue. Now, if we look over here at the Green Star monitor in the console, you'll see this iTech section right here. And if you look closer, there's this flip switch that has one and two on it. So, one and two are two different automations that you can set the tractor to perform. Looking over here, we also have a push button that will bring up the iTech screen on the monitor. So the tractor will perform these automations in this series. It'll start up here, it'll remove the engine limit, it will extend SCV1, it will start up the four-wheel drive on the tractor, it will set the automatic transmission after 15 feet, and it will activate, after 15 feet, the differential lock, which is down on the floor. It's this little push button right here. Now that is series one. I can select G to change the sequence. And here we have what the tractor will do on number two, which to hit two, you got to pull back. And number one, you push forward. Now the series, for number two on the iTech, is the tractor will shift transmission down to eighth gear to slow it down. It will retract number one. It will cut out the four wheel drive. It'll set an engine limit so it'll slow the engine speed down. And it'll remove the differential. Now, doing these options right here will increase your turning ability. It's a lot easier for the 82 to turn when the four wheel drive isn't on, the differential isn't on, that's a big one, and the engine speed is going slower, and when you're shifted down lower because it's going lower speed. So now that we have our two sets of automations, number one and number two, and it works just like the detent for the SCVs. So let's say I wanna put the disc down, I can push forward and it'll push the disc down. So this is what I'm used to. Now we have it set so that for the switch right here, if I push one, it's gonna activate the tractor to drop the disc. So it's not much different than using the detent on the SCVs. So how do we activate the iTech? I'll show you. So we wanna be using the automatic transmission. So we're gonna push the transmission button and it'll take us to the transmission screen where we can set which gear we wanna be operating in at maximum engine speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the clutch in, shift it into gear. So now we're in forward, eighth gear. And normally I wanna be running them in like ninth right now. So we're gonna put it at ninth, shift it up here to ninth, and I'm gonna hit the set, which is the check mark. So now the tractor is set the automatic transmission to be set for ninth gear when the engine speed is at maximum. So we're gonna go back to the iTech screen here we are, and I'm going to activate the iTech by either hitting F or scrolling over to F. I'm going to hit it, turn it on, it says the wheel speed is low, which is understandable. <laughs> so what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to start disking. I'm going to start off slow in second gear. Now all I have to do now to activate the iTech is push number one, and what it'll do is it'll turn on the four wheel drive. It'll shift up to ninth gear, it'll drop the disc down, it'll turn on the differential, and it'll, what else it'll do? Oh, it'll remove the engine limit. Speed up a little bit, all the way. Now I wanna drop it, I'm gonna push one. It dropped the disc down. Now the tractor will automatically start shifting up to ninth gear. 
Now we're at cruising speed. Now when I get down to the end of the strip down here, I'm gonna push number two. But we do have a little road down here that I don't want to disc through. So I can actually pick up the disc without removing the, the eye tag. I'll do that here shortly. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna slow down, which will remove the automatic transmission, but it's no big deal. Pick up the disc, drive over the road, I can either push one or push the detent to put the disc, push the disc back down. Now, it's not gonna automatically start shifting up because I didn't push one. So I can push one again. It'll go through the automations and then it'll start speeding up. So now I'm at the end of the strip. Keep the eyes on the screen for when I push number two. Almost. And right now, I push number two. It picked up the disc, slowed the engine speed down. You can see the field cruise icon next to the engine speed. And it removed the four wheel drive and differential so I can turn a lot easier. So to get back in this, into the strip, I'm gonna push number one. And it does all of the actions in a series to reduce user strain and wear. So that's one example of what you can use the iTech for. There are several different implements that you can hook up and series that you can create for different implements. So let's say we have the planner, we could set it up to perform actions that we would only want to do with the planner, which is very, very handy. It really makes things easier because for disking, it makes it easier because it allows us to turn easier at the end of the rows, and we don't have to push quite as many buttons to get going back into the strip, because with the strips, we do do a lot of picking up and dropping down with the implements, so uh, it really reduces the strain on us as well. Now, we don't have GPS hooked up to this tractor, but I do know that with the iTech, you can set the tractor to pick up an implement at the end of a row, and make it automatically turn around with auto steer and drop the implement back down into the ground and if if and when we get GPS for this tractor I'm sure we will be doing something like that um, to make it a lot easier for us and uh, it automates everything so people say that using it really seems to narrow down the time that it takes to do field work I guess you could say because they're not doing quite as much while in the tractor which for me, I would think would be really boring if you're not doing, if you're not in total control. But doing something like this, I'm okay with for right now because you're, it's just kind of making it a little easier on you. Uh, we always say that, you know, with GPS and everything, it would take all the fun out of farming. But if the GPS can reduce your passes on, on the field and reduce your overlap, then great that's probably something that we should get into as well so um, that's one of the things I'm looking forward to in the future for when we get GPS on this thing it's not really an if so um, yeah I hope you guys found this video interesting um, I'm sure I'll do another video on something in this tractor again sometime in the future I'll you'll know <laughs> so um, thank you all for watching be sure to comment rate and subscribe if you found this video interesting and informative so I'll see you guys next time